If you ever wanted to see how to put together a 3D printed helmet, then this video may be for you. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to put together a 3D printed helmet. Now, if you missed last week's episode, I showed you how to set up your 3D printed helmet and make sure that it was gonna fit your head and how to print it out in pieces if it will not fit on your print bed. Now, I do have two Ender 3s. One's an actual Ender 3 with a glass bed and the other one is a clone of an Ender 3 with a glass bed, which is actually called a Disway. Had both printers running and it took four days to a week around that time because I did have some mishaps, which is gonna happen and that's why I like to print it in pieces. So now, without further ado, let's get over to the workbench and I'll show you all the pieces that I have and how to put them together and start the process of building your Mandalorian helmet or any helmet for that case. All right, so the way I like to do my helmets if I'm building them is I like to do them in pieces. This is actually a Mandalorian helmet and you'll notice that this piece did not finish printing. I had a problem, a clog. So what I did was it was printing like this. I tried to figure out where it stopped and then finish the print from there and I'm gonna go ahead since I'm already gonna be filling this and cleaning it up and fix it like that and just fill in that with some filler. You can't always do this. You could do it in Prusa Slicer. You can cut it and find out where it was. If you're using Cura, you could bring it through the bed and figure out how to do that. I may do a video on that and show you guys that, but for now, let's just talk about how to assemble this helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and go around to all the edges that are going to be connected together Together, like this piece and this piece will be connected together. I'm going to sand all the edges down that are actually going to touch each other and I'm going to use some simple super glue. That's it. And after I'm done super gluing it, I'll show you the next step. So the first part I want to do is I'm going to try and do the top part of the helmet. So this is the top, this is the top, and then this is the top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those together and get those pieces situated first. And then sand down any rough spots that I see. So I'm going to come back to you after I'm done doing that. Alright, so I have a soldering iron with a flat edge here and what I'm going to do is reinforce this bond because I'm going to use some old filament. I'm going to fill in that seam a little bit from the inside of the helmet and just create a better bond. So that way the glue, not only the glue will stick it together, but some of this PLA will hold it together as well. So I'm going to start in the middle here because I have clamps on either side here. And this is the technique that I just started using, so I'm not the greatest at it. And we're just melting those layers together, almost like welding. So once we're done, it's gonna look a little something like this. And I went around the corner a little bit, just hit that, tried to keep it flat, tried to keep it flat over here. So with the glue on one side, we didn't touch this, I'm gonna sand this. We're gonna be using body filler for this, that's gonna fill in a lot of it and create some strength, but that's what we have so far, so. All right, so this is what I got done so far. Went in here, welded all this, glued it, got it ni nicely lined up. Now, this is the problem piece. So what we're gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and fit this in like so, and then fit this piece right up like that. So what we're gonna do first is, I'm not worried about this gap in between here because I can fill that in. What I'm worried about is getting this piece lined up with this piece correctly. We wanna have that lined up correctly on the bottom here and at the top up here. So I'm gonna glue this piece first in and then after I'm done gluing that piece in, I'm gonna try and line this piece up with the front of here because that's the part you're actually gonna see. All right, so here is the finished product. I welded in there, I glued it all together, I tried to line it up. It's a little misaligned on this side, but the front is damn near perfect. So that works, and I can fill that in with body filler. So now I'm gonna go for the sides. finished product everything is glued and bonded with the melting plastic technique used with my soldering iron that's the inside there it's all bonded on the inside 
the stuff I like to use is glaze and spot putty. So I just wanted to show you guys my progress with this. As you can see, I got rid of that gap there and I was able to fill that in. I still gotta do a little more Bondo work. When you're doing the spot putty, you'll be sanding and you'll see there'll be gaps. Don't over sand these gaps. Go right ahead and just leave them there and put more spot putty over them. These are places that you wanna fill in. For example, this area right here, and I need to fill in some more of that because I, I over sanded. You gotta make sure you don't over sand. You fill in these gaps and build it up so that way you can sand it because in this case the seam was a little uneven so I'm trying to build it up on this side to match this side so we got to build it up a little bit more so if we keep sanding this it's just going to go back down and then you do what I did right there and you counterproductive your work but as you can see in the front I almost got it done I did crack it a little bit because I found out the earpiece that I just attached was not fitting in this hole and this is why you should print everything out first pre-fit everything before you start putting it together and that was my fault so what I did it was if you can see in here I cut the actual piece right there with my soldering iron I melted it through and then I fitted this ear in what I did was I took the soldering iron you can see the holes there and I just duck it through make sure you don't go too far through where you go through the piece but just enough to bond it and make it nice and strong and if you're building this particular helmet I will say this is not very strong right here but once you add the ear it's a lot stronger it's got a lot more beef to it after you add the ear but I would do all the bondo like I did first and then attach the ear. I did put this ear in place, but it is not attached. I could take it off. So I would do all your Bondo work first and you're gonna risk cracking a little bit like I did. And then that way you have this nice seam around the ear. This came out good enough that I think with the technique that I used, and you could see a video that I did, I'll put it right above. It's a video that I did on how to smooth your prints. And I use this two in one primer filler spray paint, which I'll put a picture of it right here. This should fill in a lot of the problems I just didn't want to overdo it and lose these seams so hopefully I won't lose those seams when I spray it because I was gonna spray these separate but now that I'm having problems fitting them I'm gonna attach them after I do the Bondo on this side but I just want to give you a look at what it looks like you know before we put Bondo on it or spot putty sorry I keep saying Bondo it's a Bondo spot putty and then afterwards and you know it looks really rough like there's still parts that look really rough and I'm gonna sand them out and build them up over time but you can see how we're losing the seams opposed to this side, you still have that gash of a seam there and that gash of a seam here and it's a little uneven you got this corner here and then you got all this roughness here you fill it all in with this and it's very time consuming that's why I'm not showing you video of me doing it I'm doing it out in the garage and I'm just taking my time slowly building up getting this correct so I did the one side just to see how I want to do this now I'm gonna get started on this side and start building it up and like I said this is a couple days I'm doing this in between work and everything else this is a different filament that I'm using by Duramic. you can see that video right here I did it a week ago or two weeks ago at the time of this video and this stuff is really good this is a PLA plus kind of wish I printed it the whole helmet in this stuff because it's a lot stronger a lot durable really good stuff take a look at my review all right so what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna fill in some of these holes that are becoming problem areas so like I said earlier this right here instead of sanding that down trying to get that out we're just gonna add some filler, just using the Bondo glaze spot putty. Go in there and we'll hit, just add a little to those problem areas because this is almost perfect. I'm just gonna add some more. So any holes that I see, build it up a little bit, not too crazy. Cause I almost got this where I want it to be. So I'm just going around looking for holes. So after you get everything that you want to hit, that you need just smooth it over, and this side's almost done, I just gotta do little hits here and there and smooth it out. Once you find all the spots that you feel that need some work on, let this sit for about, about a half hour. So I'll tell Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes, and then I'll come back and see. All right, so that's what all the putty over it, kind of getting there, it needs, it needs some work, it needs to be sanded out a little bit. But I'm at the point now where I wanna put the rest of the accessories because this is actually 
supporting it more as far as this piece right here so i want to attach that and i think i'm going to do it the same way i did it this way so i'm heating up my soldering iron and i think i'm just going to flash it right to it and just attach it that way because that worked out really well and it made a nice strong bond it's not too thick here but it is thicker up here so i can burn through it and make a hole so i'm going to go ahead and follow the seam basically of where it would be and that's how i'm going to attach there you go just a little tap and that should hold it into place so i'm going to hit a couple different areas and show you what it looks like afterwards got the earpiece in did a couple holes holding very nicely very strong it's like it's one piece now and it made this a heck of a lot stronger and i put this piece right in the back there this is not going anywhere kind of like just use the edges and soldered it in kind of thing really nice easy technique all right so here it is with the primer filler I, did, I started doing a little sanding on it. I just want to show you before I got crazy. You can see some of the defects and we're gonna try and smooth that out. When you have large gashes, we're gonna put a little bit more Bondo. What this does for me and the way I look at it is this is gonna show me where the big mistakes are and where I need to put more filler and it also preserves what I've already done. So if it's good work that I've done, I wanna keep it and this kind of seals it in a little bit and now we can manipulate it and sand it away and make it a little bit better. Just to give you an idea, yeah, the seams it's really starting to look like one complete helmet so that's how I like to put together my helmets some of the techniques I use and how I like to get started smoothing my helmets so I hope that helps you see the difference between the smoothing and the unsmoothing next week I'll show you what it's like to finish off the smoothing process and start painting it and hopefully by the end of that video we'll have a finished beautiful Mandalorian helmet and like I said before this process can work for any helmet that's it for me guys if this helped you anyway, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you're enjoying this series so we can get notified when another video comes out and you don't miss anything. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! Any helmet. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. At least that's what I'm telling myself. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. I know someone's gonna leave a comment about this. This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.